Well, welcome everybody to Transfer Thursday featuring Texas A&M University Central Texas and Central Texas College. We're here to help our Central Texas College students make that smooth and easy transition over to Texas A&M Central Texas. And uh, today specifically, we're gonna be talking about the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, joining me today is uh, the Admissions Counselor, Natisha Johnson from Texas A&M Central Texas, Richard Lewis, our advisor from CTC, and Yvonne Imergut, an a lead academic advisor with the College of Arts and Sciences. So without further ado, Natisha, take it away. <laughs> Great, thank you so much, Bruce. Um, thank you guys for joining us again um, for our Transfer Thursday session. Um, as Bruce mentioned, today we will be talking about programs that we offer um, in our College of Arts and Sciences um, department. In the beginning, I will be speaking um, a little bit about our university, who we are, um, the application process, and then I'll hand it over to Ms. Emma Groot so that she can speak specifically on the College of Arts and Sciences and give some information um, and also some contact information for how to reach both of us. Um, and then we will wrap up with a Q&A session um, as well. So uh, jumping right in, um, a little bit about our university. We are strictly an upper level university. Um, so what that means for you guys attending CTC, um, what that means for you guys at CTC is, like Bruce mentioned, our goal is to make it a smooth transition um, into our university for you to complete your junior and senior level courses for your bachelor's degree. Um, just uh, something that I really like to focus on is we're, we're a smaller campus. We have roughly about 2,500 students and our student faculty uh, ratio is 15 to 1. So what that would mean for you is when you're transitioning and attending our university here, um, you'll have a more intimate relationship with your professors. They will know who you are. Um, and your education goals and um, when it comes to graduating some network opportunities for those of you who are wanting to stay local in the area. Um, also, um, in case you're not familiar with where we're located, we're not too far from CTC. We are right past the airport. Um, that means we're close to the military base and this kind of goes hand in hand with us being about 48% military affiliated. So we do have an awesome veteran and military department to assist you with your um, benefit needs um, to help you with that process and, and guide you and give you that knowledge for what's available to you. <clears throat> we have 30 degree programs that we offer and 17 of them are um, available 100% online. Um, when I speak to some of the students and doing some of the classroom visits, I really just point out that um, although we have those classes available 100% online to accommodate you, that doesn't mean you have to take that class 100% online. Um, so again, with us being here locally, you have the opportunity to be able to come in and take some classes face to face as well. One thing I really just want to talk to you guys about is just our transfer resources. Um, again, that going back to that smooth transition, we want to make sure that we equip you with all of the resources you have available um, to educate yourself of what's available to transfer um, through into our institution. Um, how we do that is with our program Transfer Central. Um, you guys, this is a great program specifically for UCTC students. You can start to work on building that degree plan. Um, you'll receive a university email and receive invites to all of our events. Um, you're basically getting access as if you're a student beforehand, so you can kind of get a feel of what our campus is like. Um, but you and you'll have access to the university li uh, library as well, which is a great resource. Um, but the key here is, again, just starting to game plan, starting to build that plan and send in your official transcripts so that you're aware of what will transfer um, and speak with financial aid as well, because you'll have your own financial aid um, 
officer to speak with. And of course, someone like myself who will be specifically assigned to you. So that's Transfer Central, you guys. Um, if you're looking to transfer sometime later in the future, um, even if it's a couple semesters up the road, this would be a great program for you to um, be able to, and it's free. Um, so you just register and we will send you out the information and get you started. So um, just a little bit about some opportunity that we have. We are the second most affordable university in the state of Texas. Um, we're able to do so with a couple of these programs that you see offered here. Um, Warrior Guarantee basically locks you into your tuition. <clears throat> um, again, just kind of going back, I know that when I speak to some of you guys face to face and I just really stress you know, asking questions um, when looking into where you want to continue, um, ask questions about how much their tuition is, um, if it increases every semester, every year. Warrior Guarantee is basically locking you into that tuition rate um, up to 10 years. So we know life happens, you move, um, and if you're wanting to, if you need to take a break from school and um, possibly come back, you'll receive some comfort in knowing that that tuition rate is still the same. Um, my favorite is bachelor's bonus. Um, if you're used to taking about four classes, um, looking at that 12 semester credit hours, with bachelor bonus, if you end up taking on one additional class, that's basically giving you those five classes um, and it's going over the 12 semester credit hour rate, so say 15, we would end up covering that class. So that's a huge saving, you guys. That's roughly about $780 um, that we're covering and you get to you know, complete your bachelor's degree even faster. Um, and then lastly, a Central Texas Promise. Um, this is going back to your, your FAFSA and when you're completing that and you have that adjusted gross income that is 40,000 or less, um, Central Texas Promise is basically saying that your tuition and fees would be fully covered. Um, so definitely great opportunities. Um, again, you know, we have some scholarships and some, uh, some things to help you guys to be able to attend and, and continue that higher education, but um, the scholarship, we have roughly 32, I believe. So um, this is these are ways that we're here to help you and the reason why we're the second most affordable university in the state of Texas. So our admissions requirement, um, you have to have a minimum of 2.0 transfer credit GPA um, and a minimum of 30 academic transfer hours. Um, please note that applicants that are pursuing the applied science or aviation science degree may meet this requirement utilizing some workforce education credit um, from an approved uh, associate of applied science. So I just want to make sure I point that out. But um, you also must be eligible to return to all previously attended institutions. So that means, you guys, we need all of your official transcripts for um, all previously attended. Um, institutions as well. <clears throat> the application process is fairly simple. Um, you would submit your application to goapplytexas.org. Um, for our spring applicants, it's actually still applytexas.org, but moving forward from there um, for 2022, it would be goapplytexas.org. Um, we have a $30 application fee, which currently we are not applying at this time. Um, so definitely a great opportunity to apply um, right now. And then, as I mentioned previously, we require all um, previously attended um, institutions official transcripts. So from there, you guys, it's about five to seven business days once we receive everything that we will be able to render an admissions decision and let you know that you've been admitted into the university. At this time, I'd like to hand it over to Ms. Immigrud um, to discuss our College of Arts and Sciences. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and as Ms. Natisha said, I am uh, the academic advisor here at the College of Arts and Sciences. And um, within our college, we have 14 degrees that we um, offer. And I'll just go over them real quick. Um, we have the anthropology degree. We have the aviation science degree, the biology degree, 
uh, criminal justice, English, history, uh, mathematics, um, uh, the liberal studies, the mechanical engineering, the music, uh, the nursing, political science, social work, and sociology. And within those uh, 14 different degrees, we offer 26 different options to graduate with degrees that have uh, concentrations and minors that will enhance your field of study and prepare you for uh, your career path that you might have um, in mind. Um, we would sit down during that um, initial academic advising session and I will help you design that um, based off of what you have um, completed and I'll guide you on the rest of the courses that you'll need um, to complete that degree. Um, we, like Ms. Natisha said, we're, st we're still a small school, so there, the ratio of a professor to student is small, so that gives you um, plenty of opportunity to work um, closely with your professors and as you take these courses and you'll have a lot of specialized um, time and treatment um, during your academic career here with us at a and Central. Um, we... Um, I mentioned uh, the, the humanities, the English and the math, or not the math, uh, the English and the history. We also have um, a secondary education certification opportunity. So we do offer a teacher education program here at A&M, which is one of the best. So um, if you're um, interested in becoming an educator, we have those options. Um, and of course, um, we have the biology degrees that offer pathways to uh, pre-medical, um, uh, ecology, um, or even um, working in uh, research and lab. Um, I can go on all day speaking about all of our degrees. Um, they're wonderful, and I'm excited to meet each of you and help you um, get to that, that final goal in your undergrads with us. Great, thank you. And also, um, for more information, and if you would like to reach out to our College of Art, Arts and Science um, advising team. Um, I have their contact information here and their email address as well. And if you have further questions for um, us in admissions, you can call or text the number that's listed. Um, and you can also feel free to email us at recruiting at tamuct.edu. So at this time, like to hand it over because this is really where we would like to hear from you guys if you have any questions specifically for either myself and um, as far as the application process or admissions um, or since we have the pleasure of having this immigrant with us um, if you have some questions in regards to the programs lee do you have any questions on facebook Okay, um, one question um, for our, we have a pretty good size aviation science uh, program here and we were just curious as to uh, what the students, students need to do to uh, qualify or to transfer over to your aviation science program there. Are there, uh, um, I, I guess, just uh, there, if there's any special needs or anything that they need to fulfill. So, yes, I can, I can um, speak on that. So the. Um, the aviation program, depending if they're going to do the management or the professional pilot would make a difference. So the professional pilot does require you to have your ratings either completed or at least in the beginning stages. If you are in your private, um, that, is, it, that is a starting point and we can allow you to begin taking classes with us in the upper level. Um, if you don't have any of your ratings under you, um, but you have some flight hours, again, we can work with that as well. Um, and for the management um, degree, as long as you have lower level um, aviation courses, um, you can get started. And of course, we make an exception with our aviation science majors, um, allow them in with 15 academic credit hours plus their technical aviation courses. Does that answer the question? Yes, definitely. Thank you. And do you guys uh, share flight time with uh, the a and with the CTC hangar as well um, for hands on yeah. or? No, we are an upper level university um, focusing on the degree itself. So flight hours are the students responsibility to um, coordinate either with the community college that they are at or through a private sector. Okay, thank you. That's a great question, Bruce. Thank you for asking that because I know that the, um, there's some some different requirements versus some of our other programs. So. Sure. 
great point. Yeah, and, and to that end, also, most recently we had uh, a representative from your engineering department uh, talk about the transitioning from uh, from our program uh, here on campus to your program. Uh, can you kind of refresh some of the the uh, uh, classes that these students might need to take here to help prepare them for the engineering program at A and M Central Texas? Okay, yes. Yeah. So all of the lower level engineering courses offered there at CTC are required to transfer to the degree here. So like your engineering uh, 1301 and any of them that are in the 1000 to 2000, they need to be taken plus their physics and their math classes. So those are the, and of course there are other core classes like their English and their sciences and all that great stuff. But those are the main ones. Those are the prereqs that we require in order to begin taking any of the engineering courses here with us. And we have transfer guides that are um, also helpful that I know a lot of the engineering students are using. Um, and so those are up to date, um, but they are welcome to make appointments with me and I can go over it with them um, according to whatever they've taken already. Okay, great. Because I just know that there was when they get over to you guys, sometimes they, they, there are some courses that they did not have here at, at CTC or take at CTC that they needed that would help them. And so that's where I was going with that to make sure that they uh, that they're well prepared uh, to uh, to tackle your degree program. Absolutely, yes. We prefer for them to um, you know touch base with us prior to admissions, so we can help them and guide them with taking the correct classes before they make a full admission here, so that they're not um, missing a whole bunch of prereqs. Because you're correct, a lot of times when the um, students arrive, they don't have the prereqs, and we can't let them take any of those engineering courses. So. Yeah, um, please encourage them to reach out to us so we can get them um, on a good transfer guide. Okay, can we get the contact information once again for that? And I'll type in the chat as well. Sure, yes. Now, um, Bruce, an another point, and just to kind of jump in to depending on where they're at um, with their studies with you guys, this is where we kind of make it a team effort and we can help if they join transfer central because then we can be able to kind of take on those students and and make sure that going back to that degree track and and that they're taking the right prereqs um so then once we get them over and get them in the system then we can try to assist with helping them get that scheduled appointment with miss emmergroot um right. <clears throat> yeah the more questions i ask and, and the more contact information i have the better equipped i think they will be when time comes to to make that jump over to A and M Central sure. Texas, definitely. But that was a great question. Do you, are there any others that I don't see any others in our chat here? So Lee, if there's anything there, just feel free to type them in or ask them up. So okay. And Yvonne, is there anything that you can think of that you've seen um, that comes about from some of our CTC students? No, I would say that most of the CTC students that I've encountered are they're really well prepared with their questions and um, they're usually taking the classes they're supposed to take. One of the things that and I think CTC students know this that if, if they've completed their at least 30 credit hours and in, in, in their academics in the lower levels, they can take classes with us at the same time um, concurrently. And I can also help them design something that will allow that. Um, a lot of times, a lot of these degrees um, are enhanced with minors, and we encourage those minors because it'll prepare them better for their career path. And so that's also another opportunity that will allow the student to continue to take those prereqs at, at CTC while they're at the same time working on their upper level degree here with us at A&M Central. Um, a lot of times students will come into, you know, well, I've run out of time, I've run out of, you know, I can't take any more classes at CTC, but I need these prereqs and I really want to get in this program. Come see us. We can help design a, a, a clear pathway for them that will allow them to continue their studies and not be cut off from, you know, whatever financial resources they may be using. I hope I'm making sense with that. Yes. Um, you did mention something uh, that I, um, if you can take a moment and just kind of hit on a little bit more, um, you mentioned minors. And with liberal studies, can you um, just talk specifically about that program um, and, and how that works? Because I know that one's a little different than the others. Okay, yeah. So the, the liberal studies um, degree 
is a degree that a student can design for, for their particular career path. Um, and we have a list of minors that we offer here at A&M that they are required to declare during uh, the official declaration process. So um, just off the top of my head, we have minors um, in uh, all the business, management, marketing, uh, computer, uh, computer information systems, math, English history, uh, political science, uh, criminal justice, sociology, all the so social sciences, all of the humanities. <laughs> Basically, anything that we teach here can become a, a minor as long as the student meets the prerequisites. So there are some minors out there that have some hefty prereqs, but depending on the student and what they're needing, it, it may work for them. I'll give you an example. Not all students need a, a pre-medical student. Not all students need to have a, um, a biology degree to go on to medical school. They can do a Bachelor of Science Liberal Studies degree if they design it with a minor in biology, chemistry, and let's just let's throw in psychology, okay, or math. Usually math is the, the popular one. Those three minors prepare the student to get into medical school because they'll take those courses that are required for medical school. And wow. sometimes it's an easier path for students so that, because they're like, well, I already have all these lower level biology courses that I can use, but they must be specific. So if, um, if they're gonna use that, of course they would work with me and I can help them design that. So the, the Bachelor of Studies, Liberal Studies degree, I'm sorry, the Bachelor of Science, Liberal Studies degree is an excellent degree. It can, you can design it however you need. I'll give you one more example. If you're gonna go on to be um, a librarian, you know you have to go on to graduate school and, and, and sometimes even uh, pursue your doctorate. Um, so the, 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 the BSLS is a, is a quick degree to, to go through because you wanna get to that next step. So here's an example. You can do minors in history, anthropology, and um, uh, let's say political science. That prepares you for graduate school so that you can continue um, um, pursuing that librarian career. So there's so many options with the liberal studies degree. It's, it's a great degree if you design it according to your specific goals. Um, but I also wanna, I, I wanna piggyback on the minors. Minors are also beneficial in other degrees because they do enhance the field of study for students. And again, like I was saying, it prepares them for that career path. Um, a, a music degree, we have the music degree. Um, that, that requires a concentration in vocal or instrumental. But if you add a minor in secondary education, now you can pursue the teacher education program and be certified in the state of Texas and teach music as well. So, there are some excellent minors out there that will prepare you for a better, you know, a better chance in, in, in the, in the, um, in the career world, uh, mechanical engineering, you know, you add that math minor. Oh, my gosh, that opens up a whole bunch of doors again. So, I mean, I can go on. I can really, <laughs> this is like, this is my forte. So. This is really great information and I thank you for going to, I, I seem to learn something every session. <laughs> and that's good for um, so, students to know that they have those different career pathway options. So, cause a lot of times they're, they're so focused on that one degree plan or that one major and they forget that there's other options out there that can further enhance their career opportunities. So exactly. for sharing that. And what about our, our, our nursing students? Are there any specifics for nursing requirements? Um, uh, like I, you know, in, in our program, once a student graduates, let's say with an ADN degree, associate's degree here, uh, it, are there any uh, requirements that they need to meet or anything that they need to do to be accepted to your program? So, yes, we prefer that the student is completed with their NCLEX, but if they are in the last semester, they can go ahead and begin the admission process with us. Now, we do have additional requirements. Um, so we can allow the student into the BSN program if their NCLEX is completed or they're in their completing semester, um, but they can they cannot be um, a shy of more than six credit hours in the lower level. So you know we have your core, but there's some additional courses in there in the in the um, BSN um, program that are lower level, like the speech and the psychology, which is 2315, and the speech is either 1315 or 1318. Um, and the sociology, 
um, classes that makes up the additional uh, lower level nine credit hours that we need. So as long as the, the, the nurse knows that they're going to meet those additional credits to be fully accepted into the BSN program, you know, we can work that out. They can continue taking those last two classes at CTC, or if they, they can take them here with us, I have substitutions. I have courses that I can substitute. So um, they're, yeah, but that's basically all they really need to know. Complete that ADN or be close to completing it and we will help them navigate the rest of it. Great, thank you. Um, definitely great information. Um, I really appreciate you, Miss Yvonne, taking the time to share this with us. And like you said, Bruce shed some light on there. There's just so many options um, that I think we're just, they're just not aware of. And so it's good to know or to know where to direct them from there. So any other questions? We have none in the chat right now. Okay. And none on Facebook as well, so. Okay. Well, thank you guys again for joining us and um, we will be seeing you next time. All right, thank you guys so much. And for the students who are at CTC currently, if uh, you need to contact someone, if this information struck home with you, reach out to Richard Lewis in our advising department, or you can contact Letitia there. She's on our CTC campus quite a bit as well. So uh, both of them are here to help you. And if you're ready to move on, then Yvonne over at AM Central Texas, it's just a quick phone call away. So, and the phone number and the email are right there in the chat. Uh, 501-5968 and uh, so uh, just reach out to them and again as, as Yvonne said there are so many different career pathways and what you don't know you need to ask so ask those questions so the more informed you are the better off you're going to be in the long run as far as completing that degree in a timely manner saving yourself some money and and, uh, and then not limiting yourself on career options as well so definitely all right any last uh, words of wisdom for our our, our participants here no, again, we just appreciate you guys' time. Um, and like Bruce said, um, I am on the CTC campus um, Monday through Wednesday. If I am not um, in my desk area over there, I'm typically somewhere throughout the campus. I'm usually in classroom visits um, or you know at the student center or Anderson building, but just really throughout so that I'm available. Um, I am you guys' liaison to our university. So anything, if I don't know the answer, I will definitely try to find someone who does know the answer. Um, but overall, my goal is to just make sure that you have the information and, and know how to continue with your education. And Atisha, are you basically housed in the enrollment center? Uh, yes, sir, I am. Okay, that's building 209 here on the central campus. So for those of you, there's a sign, uh, a, a ground sign that says an enrollment center and that's building 209. So that's where if you want to stop in and, and talk to Natisha, that's where she's located. Mm -hmm. And Thank Richard you. the same. Richard Lewis here to handle our CTC transition. He is he's in that same building, building 209. So. All right, well, thank you guys so much. That was just a lot of great information and I hope the students certainly take advantage of it. Definitely, and, thank you. And just remind everyone that the next uh, uh, transfer Thursday will be December 2nd, and I believe it's at 12 o'clock as well. And so uh, I forget which uh, area is going to be the focus, but we can find that out real quick before we leave here. Let's see, one second, give me a half a chance here. All right, December 2nd, Transfer Thursday, will feature the College of Education and Human Development. And yes. that again will be at 12 p.m. So, again, thank you all so much today, and we'll see you again on a Transfer Thursday. Thank you for having me.